growth technology for your plants. This orchid has been neglected, but we can restore it to health by trimming and repotting. This is an old yellow leaf and should be removed. This is a baby plant known as a keiki. It is recommended to spray the roots with orchid mist to keep them healthy. When it has three to four roots, about two inches long, it can be removed and potted up. This is ready to be removed. It can be placed in water to make the roots more pliable. Remove the old flower stems and the old yellow leaf. This leaf has been damaged by low temperatures, probably due to touching a cold window. It can be cut back to healthy tissue. If the plant had more leaves, you would cut it off completely. Now remove the orchid from the pot. The roots in the pot are rotted due to overwatering and need to be removed. Remove the bottom part of the stem, which is too long, ensuring the plant has enough roots to support itself. It is important that the plant is not repotted with a long stem as it would need a large pot and too much bark to accommodate it. A large pot with too much bark would not drain well. If an orchid is not repotted every 18 to 24 months, it will develop a stem and many aerial roots. It's normal to have a few aerial roots, don't cut them off. Too many aerial roots indicate that either repotting is long overdue or that the pot is too wet. In the case of this plant, it is both. The aerial roots need to be sprayed so they remain healthy. Don't cut them back. They can be placed inside the pot during repotting. Orchid mist will feed the roots and make them more pliable. Removing the bases of old leaves will encourage more roots. If you make a big wound to the stem, you can sprinkle on a bit of cinnamon to avoid infection. Place a small amount of bark in the bottom of the pot. Make sure all the roots are tucked in. Add bark and firm it down. Repeat until the pot is full, ensuring there are no gaps. Let the roots harden for four to five days before watering the orchids, then water sparingly while they become established in the new pots. A couple of small stakes will keep the plant in place. Spray with orchid mist for humidity and nutrients. You can now pot up the keiki in a small pot. Put a small amount of bark in the bottom and arrange all the roots in the pot. Then add bark and firm down. Add more bark if necessary. Let the roots harden for four to five days before watering the orchids, then water sparingly while they become established in the new pots. Growth technology for your plants.